Hello, my name is Shiva and I am a faculty for the course Introduction to Biomimicry. In eight weeks, you, if I tell you that you are going to become a biomimic, you are going to ask me what is a biomimic. So let me explain to you what is biomimicry so that you understand what is biomimic, right. So biomimicry is looking at nature, looking at the innovation of nature and translating the strategies of nature to solving human problems. For example, you look at a lotus leaf, the lotus leaf remains clean. Now how does the lotus leaf manage that? The lotus leaf has got these small microstructures and when the water falls on the lotus leaf, the water is washed away along with the dirt. So the lotus leaf remains clean. Now the question is, you can look at the lotus leaf, admire it and go away. You can also say, I want to learn how it does that from the lotus leaf. So you look at the technology of the lotus leaf, you look at the strategy that the lotus leaf employs in order to remain clean and you use that strategy to solve human problems that of making probably fabric remain clean. There is actually a company called Lotusan Paints that makes paint based on the strategy of the lotus leaf. So biomimicry therefore is looking at nature, translating nature's strategies into solving human problems. And remember, remember you are learning from a 3.8 billion year old teacher. Can you ask for a more wise teacher? And this teacher has answers for almost every problem known to us, every problem ranging from, from not just technology, right, ranging from technology problems to leadership problems to team building problems to traffic management problems. You have seen ants, right, you have seen ants going along without having a jam, so many ants, but how, how come, how come they do not have a traffic jam? You will, you will learn, you will learn that there is a beautiful organism called the Nami beetle that is able to make water out of thin air. It actually not only makes water using its back as a strategy, lot of, we will learn that later, it actually allows the water to go straight into its mouth. So these are the things you, you will learn that nature is a teacher that nature has lots and lots of strategies that nature uses to solve problems. You can use these strategies to solve human problems. In this, you, you, will, you will discover a, a completely new way of thinking. You will understand the principles of biomimicry and you will, you will learn how a biomimic uses the lessons from nature to solve big problems with out of the box solutions. The course will also introduce you to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Big problems facing the world right now. Yes, the problems may be big, but you also will understand that in biomimicry, you can find solutions for every one of those problems. You will choose a problem that you want to solve and you will get the confidence from the 3.8 billion year old teacher that I already mentioned to you that she has on offer several solutions that you can use to solve those goals. In the next eight weeks, you will learn from lectures. There will be several case studies discussions, group discussions and we will discuss books with you and we will also present to, to you the work that some of the students of biomimicry have done. This course, the co-faculty for this course who will teach along with me are Mrinalini, Professor Shivakumar Srinivasan and Professor Satya Seshadri. Welcome to 3.8 billion years of wisdom. Welcome to Biomimicry.